2024 has been a great year for LEGO Star Wars 25th anniversary sets. We've seen some great sets such as the Star Destroyer, the buildable R2-D2, and the Tantive 4 hallway. Now I think next year will be an even better year for the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, and I think LEGO will make tons of 20th anniversary Revenge of the Sith based sets, and today I'm going to go over my predictions for what we might see next year as part of the celebration for that anniversary. And if you do enjoy the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we're getting close to 10,000 subscribers. And with all that being said, let's jump right into the predictions. And be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I take a look at the set that I think has a huge chance of being remade next year since LEGO hasn't made one in nearly a decade. And first up here, I do believe that next year, 2025, will be a big year for LEGO Star Wars and that we will see a new Anakin's Jedi Interceptor based off of that final battle scene from the end of Revenge of the Sith. The last time we saw one of these was in 2012. This is based off of the Mustafar you know, confrontation scene. And this custom set does include Anakin, Padme, R2-D2, and C-3PO. I think a custom set like this would sell for around $30 and that would be really, really cool. The last Anakin Interceptor was $20, but I do think that for $30, it would be really great to see with these four minifigures and overall this would be a great set because we haven't seen a revenge of the sith padme ever and lego can finally make one for the 20th anniversary of the film and I personally think that it's always a good idea for LEGO to have Jedi Interceptors on shelves at all times, simply to keep them circulating once one retires to keep a new one out, and I think that LEGO would definitely make a lot of new fans if they do make the set. And next up, if in the case of diorama sets, I think there is a really big chance that we will see a Jedi Council chamber next year. This custom set has 521 parts, and I could see it retailing for about $70 to $80 with those five minifigures that are included. And even though we may not ever see a full-size Jedi Temple set, there's a big chance that LEGO will make a new Jedi Temple diorama, and it would be really cool to see a display plaque with the little quote that says, You are on the Council, but we do not grant you the rank of Master. It's a super iconic prequel quote, and simply this Jedi Council and this whole area, this whole scene, is a really big part of the Star Wars prequels. And I think that LEGO can definitely capitalize on that next year and give it some nice 25th anniversary, 20th anniversary branding of Revenge of the Sith and really make it a really fan-favorite set for many many years to come. Now, in the case of the minifigures, this is definitely quite su subjective, but I do believe that we can see a new Anakin minifigure along with a new Revenge of the Sith Mace Windu and a Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan. Both of those are long overdue. We could also see a reused version of Yoda, and we maybe, potentially, we could see a hologram ki mundi Now, Lego hasn't made any hologram minifigures yet, nor have they ever made a Force Ghost, but if they deci did decide to make a hologram minifigure, it would be perfect for a Force Ghost minifigure that we could potentially see in the future. And I think if you've been a LEGO Star Wars fan for any point, you would know that LEGO Star Wars fans really want to see Force Ghost characters such as Anakin or Obi-Wan or even um, some Yoda Force Ghost characters. Those would all be great to see eventually. LEGO has never made any Force Ghost references. They never showed any of it in the films. They've made some hologram parts, but never any Force Ghosts. So I think it's long overdue that we finally see some Force Ghost or hologram characters. But going back to the build real quick, I think this would be a fantastic $80 diorama set with a release in May of next year year. I think that it would go perfect with all the May 4th celebrations going on. It could even have a small play feature where you can slide the doors open in the back simply to make it a small play feature, not just a display piece. Next up here would be a custom set based off the assault on Scipio. This is a Trade Federation gunship that we haven't seen in nearly six years. The last time we saw it was for the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars, and this is based off of the iconic um, Commander Thorne final battle, final stand scene um, from the Clone Wars. This isn't Revenge of the Sith based, but I do believe there is a chance that LEGO would make a set like this. Not directly based off of the Commander Thorne scene, but we could definitely see Commander Thorne next year, along with an updated Trade Federation gunship and some battle droids and super battle droids. I think this would be a fantastic Clone Wars set and that fans would really be climbing all over themselves to get a uh, get their hands on this set especially if Lego does choose to include another shock trooper obviously the shock trooper has already been in two sets um, the battle pack and the gunship and I think it would be a great set for right around the 50 60 dollar price point and fans would really really be excited to see a set like this because it shows that Lego really cares for the Clone Wars fans and that they do want to make a lot more Clone Wars based sets and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section on this. Do you think we're in need of a new Trade for Iteration gunship? I really do believe that we need to see one, even potentially an Ultimate Collector Series version of this ship. It does play a significant part in Revenge of the Sith. We see it quite a bit in that movie, and I think it's about time that LEGO does make it more often, not just every five years. They should make it every two, three years, but that's just my opinion. I think it's a really cool looking model, and the minifigures in the set would definitely be spectacular. I think there's a big chance that LEGO could make something like this in the future. 
And next up, we're going to take a look at a Kashyyyk defense set. This one would retail for probably about $25. It has some really cool minifigures, such as that clone commando and Chewbacca, along with the two Kashyyyk battle droids. It's been a long time since we also saw Kashyyyk battle droids, and we've never seen a Lego clone commando, so it's long overdue on both of those. And I do think that a build like this would be well accepted by fans, since it's been about 20 years since we last saw a well-made Kashyyyk battle set. Like, we saw a lot during 2005 when the movie came out, but Lego never really chose to make any more simply because they don't think it would be too popular or something like that but i simply think that it's long overdue and that lego really needs to make more and with four minifigures like this, it's practically a battle pack. Even if it costs $25 or $30, people would still be buying these in huge amounts simply to army build those clone commandos and those battle droids. And now we're going to take a look at a clone turbo tank, which I think there is a huge chance to see in 2025. Now, this is based off of the Bad Batch, and this isn't what I think we will see. I think we'll see a Revenge of the Sith Kashyyyk battle-based clone turbo tank with a couple of Jedi, a couple of Kashyyyk troopers, Kashyyyk scout troopers, and a few battle droids, along with maybe a miniature AT-RT walker and some small separatist vehicles. Now, a set like this would retail for about $170, $180, the same price that we've seen a lot of vehicles in the last couple of years like we had a $140 Republic gunship, $140 ATTE, and now I think it's long overdue that we do see a new turbo tank. Last time we saw one was in 2016, nearly a decade now, so I think that LEGO would totally profit and benefit from making a new version of this. Like I said, with a couple of minifigures, no need for even a ton, and just make it an instant fan favorite as soon as it gets released. I and I think all of these sets would be great for a 25th anniversary, for a 20th anniversary celebration of Revenge of the Sith. The movie has been a really well-received film for fans for a very long time. There are tons of memes, tons of reviews on it that say it's one of the best Star Wars movies. And I think that Lego really has to go out of their way to make some really awesome sets from that film. Or a lot of fans will simply lose trust in Lego for making what they want. And if Lego simply makes random original trilogy sets, it will not be that good on them. And lastly, I think next year will be the time LEGO finally listens to us fans and makes a Duel of the Fates diorama set. I think it's long overdue on this and fans have been requesting for this for a couple of years now and LEGO simply seems to ignore us, but I do think they've been listening and it only takes them a couple of years to listen to us and finally do what we want. So I think we'll see a three minifigure diorama with Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and uh, of course, we're gonna see Darth Maul in this one. I think at a price of around $80 with 600 parts like this, this would be a perfect display piece and people would be flying all over on this set simply because it's a super iconic scene from the prequels and overall with that little name plaque that uh, with the little quote plaque that says we can take it from here and overall just the design of this and the aesthetic of Naboo Palace would simply make this a fan favorite for a lot of people and let me know your thoughts on all of these sets in the comment section below would you be picking these ones up what, what, what would you change from this and what do you think it needs to be um, different for Lego Star Wars in 2025 be sure to like like the video if you're new around here thank you so much for watching and i'll be sure to make more videos just like this so if you do subscribe i really appreciate it be sure to have a great rest of your day and goodbye